Did you know that Unreal Engine has built-in things to suggest velocity paths, which you can use for either character launching or, more importantly, velocity launching? So let's actually get into that right now within Blueprint. I've got my third-person character Blueprint right here for the template, and we can just add for now a debug key for T. T sounds good. And I already have a projectile set up as well. Fairly basic. It's just got a sphere with no collision for the time being and a projectile movement component. Now, the projectile movement component is a bit to set up. Uh, we add in back begin play because I accidentally deleted that apparently. And what we want to do is I have already made variables here for velocity and the gravity scale. It is important that the velocity and the gravity scale are both instance editable and exposed on spawn. Because we're going to be setting those the moment we spawn in the projectile, and then on begin play for the projectile, when those values have been set through just the spawning code uh, that the engine takes care of for you on the hood, we can just set the velocity on this to the velocity that we gave in on spawn. And the same thing here with set gravity scale we set that to whatever we gave in as a variable and all this only starts working after the initial setting of the exposed variables so this should be good to go now we can just spawn a actor from class and we can just spawn that projectile actor that i made and you see i have the velocity and the gravity scale so let's set gravity scale to one and velocity just by default let's set that to like 200 or whatever and then the spawn transform, we can uh, just get the actor transform from the player itself. And now, just as a baseline, whatever happens is we spawn in these projectiles with a velocity of upwards to 200. But now, what if we want to always shoot these at a specific location or obviously a variable location? That is where the suggest velocity comes in. So suggest projectile velocity. What we can do is we have three versions of it. We have the normal one, which is a little iffy sometimes. We have custom arc and we have a moving target. All of these do their own thing, but essentially what they do is they take in some information and give you the exact velocity that you need in order to reach that location with the input start and end. So let's just use uh, the normal projected velocity for now. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to obviously just get the starting location for this thing, which is get actor location. And we'll set the ending location to always want to go to plus 300 in the Z. You can of course make this a variable and give this in whatever you want based on dynamic gameplay and that kind of stuff. But for now, we're always going to just make it kind of aim at the middle of the map. We can give it a launch speed, which is just the initial velocity that it gets. So let's set that to like 2500. And then a Z gravity override. Now, this is where you might be getting mixed up a little bit. This is not the gravity scale. It's different from gravity scale that you see here. This is the actual gravity value that we're going to be working with. So in order to get that right, is what we want to do, I'm going to make just a little bit of room here, is we want to get the gravity Z, and we can just get that from our character movement, but this is already uh, multiplied by the character movement's gravity scale, because this is just the world gravity multiplied by the gravity scale for the character movement. So we also get the gravity scale for this thing and just divide it by that. So now we have the world gravity unscaled. Then we simply multiply that by, we can just make a literal float real quick. Uh, let's say just a value of two. So it is now going to have double gravity compared to the rest of the world. And that's going to go into the override Z. The literal float itself is the gravity scale. So that's what's going to go into the gravity scale for the projectile. Uh, but you need to do this to actually give in a proper override gravity Z for this. It's a little annoying that this doesn't just take in a gravity scale, but these functions, while they work, uh, seem like they are uh, a little left behind <laughs> by the Unreal developers. Then we have some trace options, whether or not we should trace the full path, not all, or only while ascending. 
So I was going to try to make a path to get us to that location. And we want to check, hey, is there any collision in our way? Do keep in mind that this traces against everything that is, I think, in the visibility channel, I believe. So since we're starting within our own collision as the character here, uh, it's going to immediately hit a trace, uh, like points. So either make sure that your starting point is outside an existing collision or just don't trace. We can draw a debug for the tracing. Uh, we can say whether or not it should favor a higher arc or a lower arc. And if there's no solutions, whether or not it should just accept the closest possible solution. Again, specifically, all those are related to the tracing options, which I'm just going to keep off for the time being. Uh, and the toss velocity is going to go into the velocity for the projectile. Hey, if you're enjoying this content and it's helping you out, please don't forget to leave a like on this video. You can also leave a comment on this video expressing what you liked or asking questions that I can cover in future videos. And then, of course, if you want to stay up to date with those new uploads, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel as well. Whatever we do, we can go over here and the velocity is a little bit too high, but it shoots it at that location, right? It shoots it at the uh, 00300 location. So wherever I go, it's always going to try to shoot at that location, obviously with the given in launch speed. So it doesn't end at that location. It just shoots toward that location with a given speed. The other two, uh, which are down here, are a little bit more about getting to an exact location. So what we can do, is instead of using the projectile velocity like this, we use this velocity with custom arc, which generally I like better as a function anyway. Instead of using the end location as a direction with the launching speed, it just uses it as I need to get to this location, right? So uh, we'll set this to 00300 as well. Then we can give in the gravity override as well, and then give in a arc parameter. So if you hover over this, you can see, uh, Change height of the arc between 0 and 1, where 0 0.5 is a medium arc. 0 is up, and 1 is directly toward the end position. So at 0 0.5, it should be about a 45 degree angle. So if we do that, and now try this again, we can see that it actually lobs it at about a, again, 45 degree angle. And it always actually goes toward the position that we give in. It doesn't overshoot it, it doesn't clamp based on any speed values unless of course your projectile movement has a limited speed value but it always just lobs it so that it hits the location that you want to be at and to just a uh, two moving target does the same thing it just takes in a target actor instead and what it does is it even takes in the movement of that actor at the time that this node runs to check where it's going and then based on its distance and the speed that you give in here with time to target it predicts where that actor is going to be at that point and shoots at that position so it shoots at where it is going to be instead of where it currently is and all of these of course can also be used to uh, launch your character instead it's a little bit more iffy with uh, launching your character because it has like character movement related values are given in so if we just launch a character you will see that it's a little weird but it does get the general direction right so let's see what that does so here as you can see it just stops quite early because the character movement is applying uh braking acceleration or deceleration rather in its falling states so I think it's this value. You want that to be zero. With the character movement component, it's not really intended to be used with that, but it could give you a general direction, at least, uh, to launch things into. Both the functions are specifically called to just projectile velocity, so that's what it's supposed to be used for, for projectiles. And a very big thank you to all my Patreons. You can see them on screen right now. If you want to help support the channel or get any of the project files in any of my tutorials, there's a link down below to the Patreon page to support me or alternatively as a YouTube member. My cave students tier supporters, Oiku, Earl, Monserville, Erno, and my cave digger tier supporters, Mauricio Farias.